guy clearly needs some groceries. He is... <laughs> Polar is a three-year-old Great Pyrenees, but is almost unrecognizable as such. One can read a story of terrible hardship on his thin frame. Surprisingly, he is wonderfully gentle in spite of his condition. Shelter director Carolyn Mossberger tells the story. Um, Polar came from a hoarding situation in Tinley Park. Um, it was a sanctuary actually called Dazzle Rescue, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, I they, know it was in the news. Yeah, they found um, 100 animals at the sanctuary. Um, there was a dead horse and I know a dead cat in one of the barns. Um, all of the animals were very emaciated, um, standing in their own feces. Um, they hadn't eaten and they weren't sure how long. Um, many of them were very sick. They had some parvo puppies. Mm -hmm. um, all of the dogs had hair loss and um, some of the cats had severe upper respiratories and eye problems and um, they were all removed. Um, those were the only two that died were the ones that were dead on the property. They all went to the Animal Welfare League in Chicago Ridge. Uh, we were able to take three of the animals and I know that some of the uh, other rescue groups were coming to take some more as well. So hopefully they've all been and placed. And she has a court case pending, I think. Yes, she a, does. She did turn so. herself in as well. Mm -hmm. all right. Hello, adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> you're as sweet as sweet as could be. So we got um, Polar, and who else did we get? Breezy. Breezy. Uh, the Red Bone Coonhound. Okay. And Karma was a little terrier mix who's already been adopted. I see. Okay. So. Everybody's pitching in to yep. help these animals that are left. And Absolutely, and they've all been such nice animals, mm -hmm. so we're very glad to help them. That fence like he was gauging how high to jump. For most of us, it's hard to understand how people can willfully cause the suffering of another creature. Perhaps we never will. What matters for these animals is what happens next, after they're released from the horror of life in the wrong hands. Luckily, there are many strong hands and hearts to help provide the answer. <laughs>